New day, got the 50 cal out here, the M107A1. Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna Cerakote it soon. So let me know a color or a theme that you'd like to see it in. Uh, different 50 cal rounds today. I got the Hornady AMAX, 750 grain, going 2,800 feet per second. I have a controlled fracturing round, and I have an armor piercing incendiary tracer round. Now, I have the Ballistic Dummy Labs uh, zombie skull out here. And the interesting thing about these guys is it's not just ballistics gel. It has a skull with brain paint in it, I guess you could say. Uh, I wanted to see what the 50 cal would do because every time I've came out to the range in the past, the 50 cal round would just clean pass through any ballistics gel that I had. So I wanted something with a little bit more substance, something that might break the round up and everything. So enough talking about it. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Bam. I'm actually really surprised. I know that Hornady Amax round is cooking. Uh, it's it's shaped in a way that it's it's really aerodynamic in flight. And, and a lot of targets that I've hit in the past, it gets really clean pass-throughs. Really surprised that the zombie head didn't even get knocked over from this. I mean, it just ripped right through that zombie skull. And you can see like a little bit of the the frag pieces in there and everything. This is really, really cool. So I was trying to aim a little bit up towards the temple. Um, I think for this next one, I'm probably gonna go a little bit further down into like the center portion of the head. But uh, I think I think next up we just do a controlled fracturing round. Or maybe I go a little bit higher and then save the armor piercing one for a little bit lower. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, so many opportunities. Uh, who knows? Maybe Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know if we'll have enough time. So let's go. Come on, man. All right, let's check this dude out. Hopefully there's enough paint left in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> looks like I went in a little bit there, right above the, the ear. And uh, the round did a little bit of a deviation here and uh, actually came out right near the, the other hole. So he's got some more fragmentation there. You can see the little skull. I don't know, that's pretty epic pulled all the skin back on him. Um, yeah, I think for the armor piercing round, I think I just turn his, I need to turn his head a little bit and maybe try to shoot out from the back, the lower portion here, and try to shoot out the, 
shoot out the mouth or the nose or something. I don't know. I'm excited to see if we can get the, um, the API round or the APIT round to initiate and hopefully we'll get a nice little clean pop, but uh, only one way to find out. Let's do it, let's go, come on, bam! All right, uh, I didn't realize that the base of the little skull thing has a little spine in it. That's cool. Yeah, this dude, I was worried that the API wasn't gonna ignite on it, but it did. I don't know if I got the tracer to ignite that close, but uh, yeah, the result, pretty cool. Got the little zombie frag brain matter there, the skull. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to clean up. It just went everywhere. Oh, there's some like little gelatin stuff over here. That's cool. Nice. You got some zombie brains. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. That's uh. That's really cool. Uh, if there's anything that you guys wanna see, a different caliber round, any kind of projectile, uh, go up against one of these zombie heads, just let me know. Uh, I got a good deal on them. They're 150 bucks at uh, ballisticdummylab.com. So uh, I might be doing a few more of these. So just let me know what you wanna see go up against it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, maybe? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, make sure your notifications are on. Bam! <laughs>